you and welcome in this video i just walk you through how you can use the eda playground which is freely available online simulator for analyzing the coverage report so if you want to work on the functional coverage then how to use this ed playground what the run.do file consists of and the commands we have to use in that run.do file i will show you in this video so here we are just considering a very simple transaction class we are not considering any dut at the moment we'll just try to see how the coverage report is generated by this particular online simulator so for that um, i'm using a uvm transaction class as you can see on the screen first two lines we have to add in order to get the access of macros and uvm classes and this is what the simple transaction class okay class sequence item which is extending from uvm sequence item and here i am declaring two properties a and b of size 4 b and i am declaring it as a rand so that in the future if i want to use randomize method i can able to randomize these two properties and this is a factory registration and failed macros here i am adding these two properties a and b and some enablers uvm all on each enable all the methods like print copy clone compare and another enabler is to print whatever we want to print in the decimal form now here i am just declaring one cover group inside that i am using option dot per instance is equal to one in order to analyze the report completely and here i am just declaring two cover points for these two variables a and b and i am not declaring the explicit bin over here just i want the auto bin for these two variables a and b and in the default constructor as you know as this the sequence item class transaction class is an object in the uvm base class hierarchy its default constructor expecting one or two and here only we are allocating a memory for this cover group cg is equal to end class sequence site inside the top module just i am declaring the handle for this transaction class within initial begin block i am allocating a memory for this transaction class object and here i am using a while loop while the get coverage is less than average uh, less than 100 percent till that time randomize and sample the coverage okay and just i want to print the values randomize random values using inbuilt print method and while the coverage is 100 percent it will print this info that now coverage is 100 percent and just i'm ending a module top so it is very simple just we will see how to use this ed playground for generating a coverage to analyze the coverage now let me show you the run.do file so this run.do files will have this uh, six lines of code you have to add this i will put this uh, code the six lines of code in the description so that you can copy and you can work around this okay. now let me show you the things what we have to choose inside this particular simulator lang language and test bench you know. now inside this test bench plus design just system very low as we are using and if we are using uvm then uvm you have to choose here then the tool and simulator section you have to choose ldec rivera pro which is freely available then after that you have to enable this you have to check this use run dot 
do tcl file because we are adding that run dot do file and this is a simple test bench very simple after this you have to just run this code what we want this whole bit okay 2 raised to power 4 is 16 so it will create 16 auto bits okay? because we are using auto bins we are not explicitly defining any bins so after running this code you will able to see the result on the console let's analyze that okay. so this is the print method from print a displays from the print method okay. now let me just we are not interesting right now here in this print okay what the randomized value it is generating just let's see the coverage report okay as you can see for the a and b variable we have given a as a label capital a for this cover point a okay so as you can see it is creating 16 auto bins okay 0 to 50 and each one is covering here we want one time it should hit and these are hitting you know, multiple times so that we are getting the 100 percent coverage for that particular cover point now for second b as we defined here label we gave b for the cover point b variable it is also you know giving the 16 auto bins 0 to 15 and expectation is it should hit each pin should hit one time and now it is hitting more than one time here hence as each bin is hitting here we are getting the 100 percent coverage so this is what the thing how we can you know, use ed playground for generating the coverage report okay it is very simple and this run dot do will have the six lines of code so i will put the link of this particular code in the description so that you can use that and you can play around with this code so with this i hope you have understood how you can use this freely available online simulator eda playground for working on the coverage part, functional coverage part and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you